Hello dear students, in today's lectures, topic is Hangle transform of derivatives of a functions. So let us start from the theorem. Theorem is let f b of p and f dash b of p be the Hankel transform of order b of f x and f dash x. f dash x is d f upon d x respectively. Then h b of f dash x of p equal to f dash b of p minus p divided by 2 b of this one b plus 1 f b minus 1 of p minus b minus 1 f b plus 1 of p as usual we start and from by definition of Henkel transform h b of f dash p equal uh, equal to 0 to infinity x j b of p x d f upon d x d f upon d x of d x put x into j b of p x be the first function and d f upon d x be the second function of integration by parts so by using the integration by parts on the right hand side we get the result is x into j b of p x f x 0 to infinity minus 0 to infinity this one assuming x into f x becomes 0 as x tends to 0 and x tends to infinity now using the recurrence relation of the Henkel transform x into j b dash of x equal to this one x minus b minus 1 of x minus b of j b of x this is the recurrence relation and using this recurrence relation now replacing x by p x in this recurrence relation and we get the strip this one uh, p x j b minus 1 of p x minus uh, b of j b of p x this one after replacing the recurrence relation x by p x now adding both side j b dash of p x and simplifying this result we get the relation this one in terms of j b of p x now putting in this relation now this is equation number two mm, no this is not equation number two now putting in this equation equation in equation number one we get f uh, dash b of p equal to b minus one zero to infinity f x j b of p x d x minus p of zero to infinity f x x j b minus one of p x this is equation number two what we do and from equation number two from equation one to equation number two just we start from the definition and we go through the recurrence relation and using the recurrence relation we put x by p x and then whatever the result is getting adding both side j b dash of p x both side and after simplification putting the value this value in equation 1 and we get the equation number 2 now after that as we know that and from recurrence relation 2 b j b dash of x equal to x of j b minus 1 of x plus j b plus 1 of x now in this recurrence relation replacing x by x by p x we get this one j b dash of p x equal to p x divided by 2 b j b minus 1 of p x plus j b plus 1 of p x now putting this value in equation 2 so 2 becomes f b dash of p x equal to p of b minus 1 divided by 2 b 0 to infinity f x x of j b minus 1 p x plus j minus 1 of p x d x minus of 0 to infinity f x x j b minus 1 of f x d x like this so this becomes the equation 2 in this form now after simplification this step we get the result is minus p divided by 2 v v v plus 1 v minus 1 x minus v minus 1 v plus 1 of x this is equation number third which is the form of the Henkel transform of the first derivatives of order v so this is the first derivatives of the Henkel transform 
of first derivatives. Now we have to evaluate the second derivatives of the Henkel transform. So the theorem of the form of second derivatives of Henkel transform is Hv Hv of f double dash x such that v equal to equal to f v dash of p equal to p square divided by 4 v plus 1 divide, uh, divided by v minus 1 f v minus v minus 2 of p twice of v square minus 3 divided by v square minus 1 f v of p plus v plus 1 divided by v minus 1 v plus 2 of v. This is the second derivative form of angle dance form. How can we prove this part? The proof is very simple. When in the question paper you have the questions in the form of the second derivatives, then you start from the definition from equation number 1 to equation number 3rd as is well uh, in first derivatives now using the first derivatives replacing fx by f dash x then equation third becomes like this fv double dash of x equal to minus p of this one means nothing we just had to put in equation third where fx becomes f dash x so the equation 3 becomes like this f double dash v of p equal to minus p v plus 1 divided by 2 uh, v v minus 1 of f dash x p and like this again replacing in this equation this is equation number 4 replacing in this equation v by v minus 1 and successively v plus 1 also then equation 4 becomes when we uh, replacing v by v minus 1 then it becomes f dash v minus 1 of p equal to minus p of this one this is equation number 5 and when we uh, replace v by v plus 1 then it becomes the equation of the form f dash v plus 1 of p equal to like this minus p uh, p, uh, v plus 2 divided by twice of v plus 1 f v of p minus uh, v of twice of v plus 1 f v plus 2 of p this is equation number 6 so how can we proceed the proof of second derivatives of the Henkel transform is starting from the definition till equation equation 3 and after that replacing fx by f dash x then again uh, replacing v by v minus 1 successively v by v plus 1 after that using equation 5 and 6 using equation 5 and 6 in equation 4 so we get f v double dash of p equal to p square v plus 1 divided by 2 v v of twice of v minus 1 f v minus 2 of p v minus 2 divided by v of twice of v minus 1 of f p minus of v minus 1 2 v of v plus 2 divided by twice of v plus 1 f v of p so uh, using uh, equation 5 and 6 in equation 4 we get this one so finally we get the second derivatives of Henkel transform fv double dash of p equal to p square divided by 2 of this one v plus 1 divided by v minus 1 f v minus 2 of p of twice no, minus of 2v square minus 3 divided by v minus 1 f v of p plus v minus 1 v plus 1 f v plus 2 of p this is the second derivatives of angle transform so 
what we have uh, done today we have proved the first derivatives of Henkel transform and with the help of first derivatives of Henkel transform we prove the second derivatives of the Henkel transform so thank you